Every day we are assailed by advertising messages on television, on our mobile phones and on billboards. Uh, is the industry still working, the advertising industry? And do people really resonate with uh, messages from the so-called hidden persuaders? That, to a degree, informed a conversation this week here in Johannesburg with uh, Carter Murray. He runs the giant global FCB advertising group. Locally, its clients include the likes of Toyota and Coca-Cola. Titanium Grand Prix. Won by FCB for Burger King, the Whopper Detour. It was a big year for the FCB agency at the 2019 Cannes Lions Festival of Creativity, pegged to be the Apex Awards ceremony for global creative excellence. The agency won two Grand Prix, one for the work done for its client Burger King in a campaign aimed at promoting the fast food giant's new Order Ahead app in the United States. Burger King wants you to come here. Yes to McDonald's. Burger King is trolling. Trolling its fast food rival. So I saw this Burger King commercial where you can get a Whopper for a penny. Only if you open the app while you're at McDonald's. That doesn't even make sense. You, you have to go to McDonald's for a Whopper? And use Burger King BK app. Then be within 600 feet of a McDonald's restaurant. Leveraging geolocation technology. It's called the Whopper Detour. 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 All right, so I'm currently at McDonald's right here. Let's go for the unlock. This is a really cool promo, guys. How fun is this? <laughs> The campaign showed the agency's ability to use technology as a disruptive force and had the results to prove it. That's crazy. But with the state of global advertising in constant flux due to economic and political pressures, I asked the man at the helm of the global powerhouse if his industry still counts. It's quite a profound question, Jeremy, to kick off with. It's great to see you again. I believe, you know, creativity is the currency of the future. I think where we're seeing the proliferation of technology companies, the power of data, actually what comes out of that is I'm seeing more and more global clients and local clients realize that you need to use the power of creativity to really get that to work properly and to connect with people in the right way. There's got to be a balance, though, surely, between the power of creativity that you talk about on the one hand and also utilizing the technology. Often Absolutely. there's too much technology or people just don't get technology at all. Are brands and agencies actually finding that optimum balance? It's such a great question. I think what we saw is look, measurability is so important to clients and how they spend their money and efficiency. But also they want to use marketing as a competitive advantage. And I think where there was maybe a move of you had the creativity in the agencies versus performance marketing and seeing where that was going, both were important. And so I think what you're seeing in the more successful marketers today around the world is that it's not an or discussion, it's an and discussion. It's how do you make sure that you're doing great performance marketing using the technology and the data correctly, but using that to fuel creative and to fuel your brand marketing through amazing creativity. So let's take it away from the theory within your own agency group. How are you getting that right? Who are you doing that for? We're really proud of the fact that I think what won the Titanium Grand Prix in Cannes this year was the work we did with Burger King. So it's supplying technology and data and creativity against the world's biggest brands. And I think what you saw there is that Burger King had a desire to become one of the most downloaded um, apps because in their, in their segment, you need to have a, a strong mobile presence and you need to have leadership in, in your apps. And we use technology, ring fencing every single outlet of their competitor. So we use technology at scale, but we also applied you know, great creativity to that Whopper detour. And so it's the perfect example of creativity and technology coming together where the client can achieve things that they couldn't before. In fact, the CMO of Burger King very kindly wrote an article two or three months back on how that changed his entire perspective on marketing. So when you get it right, when you get that use of, of data and technology, but you apply, apply it to great creativity and a real business problem, that's where you win. 
How do you get the data scientists to talk to the creative people? I think that's where the art is. And, I, and one of the things we've done is, you know, we have FCB globally with around 8,000 people, but one of our fastest growing companies as well within, within our portfolio is FCB6, which got the Grand Prix in Cannes, which was voted one of the companies the most prepared for the future. And I think what we realize is we have the same culture. We hire the same type of people. We're all part of the same family. But we use creativity even within the, that company, which is a tech and data specialist, with creativity. And I think when we do briefs, when we work out what the client's problems are, we bring all the parties to the table at the beginning. You sit in the business capital of the world. That's where your HQ is. How has Trump's America impacted on your business? You know, I think we have to separate two things potentially in that question. One is the impact of what's going on with Brexit, what's going on in politics in America, what's going on around the world where we're seeing some GDP growth, perhaps, well, for sure, not where it was a few years back in many of the major markets around the world. That's having an impact on our clients and on us. And then you have also within the United States, where obviously we have a lot of business. I think what you're seeing is brands and clients managing brands in the United States have to be careful not to get caught in the political washing machine. So you can't get stuck. I mean, if you're a niche brand, you can. If you're a niche brand, you can put a stake on the ground for one side, annoy half the population, and, and get some traction with the other half of the population. But most of our clients are mass brands. The target is the US census. And in those cases, I think what you have to do is you have to focus on what unifies, not on what divides. You have to find those human truths in terms of how you find a way to talk to people. And you have to find truths about who you are as a company in terms of how you connect people to your product and to your service. And I think that's the secret for the large scale successful brands in America today. But Given the polarization that exists, that surely is becoming increasingly more difficult to do, given that there's so much emphasis placed these days on advertising and marketing for good, for change. You see it either as an opportunity or you see it as, as a challenge that's insurmountable. And for us, what's good is, as an agency is I think the need to have strategists and have creatives that understand how to win in that environment is more important than ever before. We see clients coming to us more and more because I think we have shown at FCB that we have a lens to be able to market successfully in that environment. I'd like a view on developing economies, if you would. Um, the brand finance research company has just put out uh, a study that says 30 of the fastest growing nation brands around the world are developing economies within the African list of countries like Libya and Ghana and Egypt. From an outside prism, when you look at doing business in developing economies with all the problems that we've got, some are similar, some are different, um, why bother sometimes? <laughs> when you look at um, some of the major economies in the world, you're seeing the GDP growth figures of 10 years ago are just not there anymore. The BRIC markets, Brazil, Russia, India, China, still hugely important for us. Um, any global client, us as a global company. But you're seeing some of those GDP, you know, if you look at the GDP growth numbers of Brazil from 10 years ago to today, you're not getting those figures that allow you to do huge capital investment justified off the back of it. So you have to look to new places for growth. I think the challenge that you have sometimes when you look at some of the markets that you cited is scale. So when you're a multinational and you have several billion dollars of sales, you have to be successful in a large number of small countries. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the risk factor of investing in those countries, it's difficult. So I think you have to look at which are the markets where you're getting that growth and that opportunity, but also is there a scalable opportunity there for if you're a larger a market? And it's a difficult discussion. Carter Murray is the chief executive officer of the uh, giant FCB uh, advertising group. Well